with the new Viper real-time radar. Here it comes, folks. We've got a winter storm watch that's been issued, and that's exactly what we were expecting. We've been telling you all week long we were going to have snow, and then we wanted to make sure we got the snow total forecast pretty accurate. In other words, hand-drawn maps. Those are the ones that you, listen, that's what takes time, takes a lot of research, takes patience in order to hold off on letting folks know. We told you it'd be a lot of snow, but exact numbers, that's important for you, believe me. I've heard a lot from you this week. Let's get to what's happening right now with our weather camera network. We're not going to be cavalier about just throwing snow totals at you because that's just not right. It's unprofessional. We are going to give you the good stuff. And I'm telling you that because, listen, Joe Fitzwater, Spencer Atkins, myself, we spent a number, a number of hours last night working on the forecast, and, and we've got it down pretty good. Pikeville, I think you're going to get some rain, a little bit of snow. Ashland, you're going to get mostly snow. Uh, Somersville, you're... All snow and it's going to be pretty good. You can see right now we've got some foggy conditions here. Hazy, foggy because the humidity is so high. The dew points right near the current temperatures. That means we've got a lot of moisture available. And that's what's key for this forecast going into the weekend. Winter storm watch has been uh, issued for Sunday through Monday morning for heavy plowable snow. There's going to be big time impacts on driving as we go Sunday night, especially into Monday morning. Temperature 34 Portsmouth, 38 Huntington, 36 Charleston, 37 Clay, 32 Somersville. We're going to stay in the 30s for the rest of the day. Let's get right to it. Predict our forecast model. There's one o'clock this afternoon. The clouds stick with us for the day. Now, going into tonight, clouds. Now, going into Saturday, there's 7 a.m. You can see there's some snow showers in the region. And then watch what happens. 3 o'clock for your Saturday afternoon. Uh, clouds are a little thinner to the north in Ohio, but We've got a couple of snowflakes that will be possible during the day in the higher elevations of West Virginia, south, uh, southern West Virginia, and southeast Kentucky. Then as we work our way into Saturday night, lots of clouds. But here we go, 7 a.m. on Sunday. This is what's very important. You can see we have rain mixing in with this pink. This is going to be some snow. This is going to be some uh, freezing rain and sleet that will be possible in these areas. So we're going to have a mixture. There's 9 a.m. on Sunday. Now, as we get to probably about 10 o'clock, 10 to 11, that's when we see it at I-64 corridor. But look at that. That's rain up I-79. That's rain for sure here in southeast Kentucky. And that pink is a wintry mix. The blue is snow on the northern edge. That's the lunch hour. Now, we continue up to 3 o'clock for the afternoon. You can see snow pressing off to the north, but that's even some possibly some sleet here across portions of the tri-state with even some rain trying to mix in and that even gets up near the Ohio River. But here's what happens. There's six o'clock at the night. There is what we're looking at Sunday evening, a dry slot, a time where we get nothing. But look at that snow. It's gangbusters. I mean, it's going to be going like crazy in Virginia, North Carolina, the like. But as we go into late night hours, there's nine o'clock on Sunday. That's it's quickly switches back over to snow. And then that's when we're going to see some more efficient snowfall production in areas where we had sleep, maybe some freezing rain and rain. Therefore, you're going to have a base layer of water that will be frozen with the snow on top of it. So there's going to be slick travel Sunday night and then you have more snow. There's 11 o'clock on Sunday night. Look at that. There's Monday morning, 7 a.m. You get some more snow wrapping around. There's the lunch hour on Monday and then even some snow squalls in the evening. Now, here's what we're looking at. The snow ideas for Sunday. This is a warm wedge of air. That's why you get to see the rain, freezing rain and sleep mixing in. That cuts down on snow totals. Snow here across southern Ohio, northeast Kentucky. Heavy snow in the mountains. So therefore, our snow total forecast right now, this is as of noon today, four to seven inches will be possible in these areas. Now, this line might slide a little bit closer to the Ohio River if we get a little more rain, freezing rain in these areas. Three to five inches, Charleston, uh, up to maybe even near Sutton, Clarksburg, Morgantown, but seven to nine inches at Summersville, nine to 13 from Winter Place, all the way back up to Richwood, uh, Snowshoe, Elkins, as well as Timberline Canaan. Wow, that's going to be some great snow for snow skiers for sure. Your seven day forecast looks like this. 39 with clouds today, mostly cloudy with some flurries on Saturday, and then that wintry mix on Sunday with heavy snow in the mountains and some good snow in southern Ohio. A few snow squalls on Monday, 32, 38, Tuesday, 44, Wednesday, and 30 on Thursday. So, Hannah and Lily, lots of, uh, lots of active weather on Sunday. We'll be tracking it all, but right now, snow forecast looks pretty solid at this point. All right, Brian Hughes, I guess we're looking forward to it, but we know we're in good hands. Exactly. Well, we thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Hey.